Hi folks, welcome for this new video. As you can see, I've made a different setup. I have a black underground today. And we are pouring the rainbow colors. So we are having a yellow. This is a metallic orange. This is a metallic copper with a bit of burgundy red. This is metallic gold. This is purple, halo blue, some turquoise, because I just love the color, and some metallic green. And as June is the Pride Month, we are going to make, well, a queer straight pour. <laughs> so let's just see what we can get. So we are playing on a 30 centimeter canvas. I'm putting the colors inside and we will go to see what we can get here. Of course, in the middle, I'm having white because I want this to be bright, of course. So there is no black involved this time. And I'm curious what we can get. To make this work even cuter, we are going to play with the Minions Cup. It is just a regular cup from the Minions movie. So let's see what this can give us. I'm putting some of the white on center. Just that. And then putting up the rainbow colors from there on. I want the light colors to be in the middle. So like coming out last. Yellow, metallic orange, metallic copper. And there is no silicone in those paints. Let's go with the green now. Then with the teal. Halo blue, purple, some gold, and some white to finish it off. And I can already see this is too much paint for this little canvas. Surprise, surprise. So we're going to switch to a 40 by 40 centimeter canvas. As I only have canvas boards of this size currently, we are switching this to a board, putting some cups underneath. Like that. just to give the color a starting point. Whoa, colorful it is. I'm probably having too much paint for this canvas as well. So probably most of it is going to be poured off, but let's just see where it takes us. So I'm going to put those away for a second.
And here is the right result. I have put a code of the top code varnish on there. So this is how it looks like. It's super shiny, it's glossy, and color-wise it's really, really pretty. I will give you a close-up in a second um, at the end of the video. It's really dry impressive. I really like how this one turned out. And yeah, this was a really successful one, I think, for this pouring method. I overall like the look. I hope you like it too. I hope you had fun watching. And if you like it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Do not miss out any of my new videos. You can click the bell icon. Materials are linked down below in the video description. As usual, I have told you over and over again. So yeah, it was fun. Hope the others are going to turn out as great as this one. And leave me a comment. And other than that, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.